What's up guys, it's your boy Dom and welcome back to the channel man. As you're seeing it is probably January the 1st, 2022 and uh, it's an end of an era. Dime of Cuz is no more, it is now RTG Dime. But you're not here to talk about here talk about what Dime Up Cuz was before. We are here to talk about the new year. Now, as the new year is rolling up on us, we want to be better. We want to have a better version of ourselves than we had last year. So I have come up with 10 tips to help us or help everyone become a better person in 2022 and beyond. And you may be asking, Dime. What's your New Year's resolutions? What 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 are you gonna do? I don't usually like saying what my New Year's resolutions are, mainly because if I if I say it, I tend to not do it. So, yeah. So the first tip is drink more water. I got water right here. I just almost done finished it. I'm almost finished with it. Drink more water, man. It's healthy. It, it's it, to be honest with you, it's better than soda. It's better than juice. Juice and soda have so much sugar, and you don't want all that sugar in your body. All right. I have a challenge actually. Get some soda from your pantry, fridge, whatever. Boil that soda. And now we all know what happens to solids when they when it's in a liquid and the liquid evaporates, the solid stays behind. I want y'all to see what's in that pot after you boiled off that uh, liquid. It's not pretty. And you will be probably questioning yourself, why in the world am I drinking that? You feel me? All right, the second one is have a morning routine. You know, get up at 6 a.m., make your bed, eat breakfast, brush your teeth, take a shower, and do all of that every single day. That will help you become more productive. That will help you become a happier person, to be honest, because now you have structure in your life. And really, it just looks cool just to have a morning routine. It, it's really professional, in a sense. Set goals for yourself each day. That's the third tip. Set goals for yourself. Before you go to bed, the... the the night before the fall night before write down how many things you want to get done in the day i'll do this i'll do that i'll do this and when you write it down when you write it down you'll remember it and then the following day you'll look back at that whatever you wrote on and you'll say oh i'll do this now i'll do this now i'll do this now it'll not only help you become more productive but it will also help you become a more professional person in society eat good foods eat good foods now i'm not saying like good foods as in like Takis and uh, chips and all that. I eat fruits, eat vegetables, eat uh, lean meats, eat stuff that doesn't have that much fat in it, eat stuff that doesn't have that much sugar, eat stuff that doesn't have a lot of salt. That's number one because a lot of people eat stuff that have a lot of salt, and then they start getting dehydrated, heart diseases and whatnot. Stay away from the salty stuff because that's going to lead to a lot of problems later on. Especially if you're eating stuff with sugar, you know you might become diabetic and all that. Another tip is get start working out, man. And I'm not talking about going to Planet Fitness, paying $15 a month just to go to Planet Fitness for one to two weeks at the first week of January. No, I'm talking about working out and really having that drive to keep working out and keep doing your thing. Because a lot of people go into working out with a totally different mindset, right? You want to work out to what? Get stronger, get better, become a better person. Stay hydrated. To look good. But see, a lot of people, they're, you're doing it for yourself. That's when you're working out, you're doing it for yourself. But see, when a lot of people work out, they think they try to do it for this one girl that they seen, one girl, one whatever. You know, you should work out for yourself. You should work out because this is your, this is, this is your body, man. You got to. You gotta take care of your body, and working out is one way to take care of your body. It not only keeps you healthy, but it also takes takes away the risk of heart diseases and whatnot. Another tip is don't use your phone too much. Now, this is a, a directed towards a wide audience. You know, you have young people who are on their phones too much. You have older people who are on their phones too much. Get off your phone because social media nowadays, <laughs> coming from somebody who's on on the internet, um, can mess with your mental health. You see a lot of stuff and whatnot, you know, and cyberbullying, even though I'm not necessarily a 
advocate or whatever who believes in cyberbullying. I mean, I just feel like you should just turn off your computer and just go rest for the rest of the day. I feel like that's one way to get off your devices. And also, man, you don't want to put that too much strain on your eyes. It's going to mess up your eyes. I mean, I have blue light glasses right now, but really you should like stay away from using your device too much, especially when you're about to go to bed, mainly because you that that blue light can actually like keep you awake and make you not sleep and not get that good amount of sleep because it's supposed to be eight to nine hours a night that you're supposed to sleep that's like the recommended hours you're supposed to sleep so i would really recommend not using your phone too much man because it could lead to mental health problems it could lead to sleep problems it could also just be you living in a fantasy world and you think your life is social media right you don't want your life to be social media you want your life to be your life right you want your life to be you want your life to be as much stress-free as possible so staying off the internet for periods of time can help that another one is stop looking at the ig thoughts and doing that thing i know what y'all hey boys i know what y'all be doing bro when you know you're looking at that ig thought you get that certain feeling bro stop doing that stop it is messing your brain up bro it's messing your brain up it's messing your, with your growth, not only physically, but mentally. You feel me? It's messing with you, man. You got to stop doing that, bro. You got to stop. You know what I'm saying? You got to stop all of that, man. Stop all of that. You feel me? And just these IG thoughts, they're not going to look good in the next 13, 10, 15 years. We know that for sure. Not unless they keep getting the rhinoplasties and the plastic surgery. But that's the only thing they got going for them is their looks. They don't have anything else. All they have is the looks and whatever money they have you feel me that's all they have they don't have anything else they don't have character they don't have more stop looking at these ig thoughts like they finna be your wifey one day stop looking for women that look like ig thoughts you feel me stop it yes there might be one that looks like one that is good that has morals that has character but half the most of the time most of them don't because they think they live in this social media world and that goes back to my other point stop using your phone because once you do that and you look like one of these IG thoughts, you're going to think you're an IG thought. And you're going to be do acting like an IG thought. You're going to push all of these people away just so you can live out your fantasy that you're an IG thought and everything like that. Stop, man. And that's to the women as well, man. Stop. I'm just saying stop. Another tip is, I mean, might, some people might have problem with this, but take, take out that vulgar, vulgar language. Out of, take out vulgar words out of your vocabulary. I mean, I, I don't curse. I stopped cursing a while ago. And um, to be honest with you, cursing in a way is very unprofessional. I mean, I, I, some people might have a problem with that. Like, why do these words exist? They exist for a reason. They were made by, let's say, bad people who say bad things. Somebody, as somebody who has stopped cursing, I feel much better. I feel way more professional. You know, it feels it's easier to talk to people now, now that I don't have to use a certain word to emphasize something i can just use another word a regular word to emphasize something to equal extent that kind of goes into my next point read more books reading books can increase your vocabulary i know i sound like a teacher or something but listen to me please please listen to me reading books really increases your vocabulary it really helps you actually become smarter because you are actually now being exposed to different ideas in such books and you're you're able to retain more knowledge and everything like that like you got you have to like this is all based on having a structure in your life these are like all this all these tips are having is having structure and before you can do that you have to have structure in your life and reading books is part of that structure now the last the last tip for today is be nicer that's all just be nice man just be nice uh, I don't think I have to really explain explain like that but just be nice to people, man. Really. So, I hope y'all like this video, man. Oh, man. It's the end of an era. Rest in peace of Dime Up Cuz. Now it is RTG Dime. <sighs> you might be wondering, is this guy sponsored by Nike? No. I'm not sponsored by Nike. This, this is, this is, this isn't Nike Tech. This is Nike Club, bro. Like, look. Nike, Nike, that's Nike Club, bro. This is not Nike Tech, but I'm gonna be real. Nike Club better than Nike Tech, bro. Get with the program. Anyway, man, it's been your boy Dime, man. God bless. Peace out. 100. Bow. Happy New Year's.
Ha ha. Yes, sir.